Okay, so we got another trophy list review for you today, and today's list is Reaper Veteran 86. I can see the Germany flag, I can see 807 country rank, so my god, 416 platinum, so we're going to have to flow through these, and before we get into them, big shout out for that peachy beachy splash, which I can see that you're currently doing, but yeah, let's get straight into the platinums, otherwise we're going to be here for like all day. So, root letter, root letter, last answer, the, the original and the sequel. Never played them myself, but I've heard of them. I've seen them in the stores. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what the game consists of, to be honest. 11-11, uh, Memories Retold. I've seen this, I've seen gameplay of it. Not Doesn't look like my kind of game. Uh, very, what's the word, grainy. Like, you know, you can't really see what's going on. I mean, obviously you can tell what's going on, but you can't really see the gameplay. I'm, I'm not making much sense here, but, you know, fair play, you got that platinum. 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim, nice, brilliant platinum. One that I need to get myself. Quite a high percentage on it, though, which is quite a shock. Okay. Uh, 36 Fragments of Midnight, uh, two stacks, uh, Vita and PS4. Um, both just took you about an hour roughly as the guide suggests so happy days 8 to glory not a scooby doo and I, to be honest I know that we had a similar issue a couple of videos ago where I didn't know half of the games and to be honest I think might be a similar feel on this one um, so Reaper Veteran I apologise um, you've clearly played a lot of games uh, and I need to get on your level uh, nine monkeys of Shaolin next uh, one day six hours 26.26 percent not bad uh, don't know what the game is in truth same with a night's quest no idea but I think I need to check it out because it's only a 12.28 percent so nice one on that uh, play tale innocence next nice um, is that the prequel or the sequel I'm not sure uh, I know it's on my list of games to tackle in the future, but fair play on that one. The first, shall we say, big hitter. I, I, I don't, I don't know how you pronounce that. Is it Axel World or Axel World versus Sword Art Online? I've seen it. I, I, I like the Sword Art games. I've not. Uh, I've only played. I think it's Hollow Realization so far. Oh, and Fatal Bullet. Um, but. I mean, 100 hour on the guide says everything anybody needs to know. Uh, Adam's Venture Origins. Nice. Uh, Adventure Time, Jake and Finn Investigations. Uh, I own this one physically, but I've not played it. So uh, you'll have to let me know if it's worth doing. Almost one in three people have uh, platinumed it. Uh, Air, we saw that recently. Um, no idea what the game actually has, but fair play. Uh, area I'm guessing 12.9% on that one 40 hours uh, only a 2 out of 10 difficulty so I suggest it's a relatively easy platinum uh, Akiba's Beat nice I think that's. I think this is the first one I've seen of this uh, 4 out of 10 75 hour 9.44% so I can, I can already tell and we're still on the A's that there's going to be some absolutely beastly platinums in this list but there is also going to be a lot that i just haven't got a clue uh alice gear aegis 31.58 percent on that one nice uh ancora lost days not a scooby um but fair play uh anno mutationum i think that's how you pronounce it uh, i've seen it on the store don't know what the gameplay is like uh ape escape Classic, um, haven't played it myself, uh, well, not played the uh, PS4 version, I think I played it originally on the PS1, wasn't my style of game, running around catching butterflies and God knows what else, um, but nice, uh, a Pathion, very nice, I only 5.9% on that one, and it's only a 12 hour, I'm surprised that that's not a lot higher, um, Ark of Alchemist, nice, uh, Arslan, sorry, I've scrolled a bit too far. Arslan, the Warriors of Legend. No idea what that consists of, but 5.58% on that one. So, a very rare one. Art of Rally, 
obviously rally driving I'm guessing 22.53% on that and then we've got a fair few Assassin's Creed so we've got Brotherhood number two Liberation Origins and Rogue um, I think that's like five of the original seven ish Assassin's Creed's but all of them you know th there's a fair bit of work that goes into them so nice on all five of those Oh, I'm still on the A's. This is going to take me a while. Um, Assault Gunners, fair play. Astralix and Oblix, XXL2. I own one of these. I'm not sure what the two is, whether there's a a second, whether it's the second game or whether it's like the second trilogy pass, but fair play. Uh, Autobahn, Police Simulator 2 and Police Simulator 3 both low percentages i've seen the first one um in the store but not both not the second or the third uh, azure lane crosswave nice oh i'm just catching my breath um you know it's been months well not months it's been about a month since i did the first trophy released where i was coughing a bit and i was saying now i'm unwell still unwell it's really knocking me about but we'll get there. Uh, Barger, Edge of Control. I've seen this a couple of times and I'm very surprised that it's only a 1.87%. But nice on that one. Beach Buggy Racing, 7.07 .07 on that one as well. Nice. Bear with me. Considering it's such a high percentage, I think this is the first time I've seen it. I know the game. Um, I know roughly what the game consists of, but surprised that it's that high. And fair play, you've done the DLC on it as well. Um, Beast Quest, nice. Uh, Behind Enemy Lines, is that the... Yeah, it says it on the... I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can just about make it out. It says Remastered Edition. Um, I was looking at this a couple of weeks back, but all the reviews were saying it was absolutely horrendous. Um, but fair play. Uh, Biomutant, nice. Black, Qu Black Clover, Quartet Knights. So a bit of anime there, 21.83%. All, all anime games are, are high percentages, always. Uh, Black Mirror, nice. Almost one in every two people get that one. Black The Fall, 80.03%. So, yeah, four in five. Uh, Black Wind, no idea. But there's 64 trophies in that one. So there's a fair bit to, uh, fair bit to learn there, earn there, rather. Uh, Blair Witch next, nice. Um, I thought the Blair Witch image was like the red with the the little like tree thing, but we just got the static from a TV. Fourteen point three nine percent on that one. Uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon two. Um, is that the? I, I've I've played Bloodstained. Is it Spirit of the Night or something like that? Uh, no, that was a fantastic game. Um, I'm guessing this might be like a prequel or a sequel, but I think this is the one that looks like it's an older game. Whatever, it's uh, fair play, you got that platinum. Blue Reflection, nice, beautiful, absolutely brilliant turn-based combat game. Uh, Bound by Flame, nice, one year and six months. Yeah, put my teeth back in. One year and six months to earn that one. 4.41%, nice. Bullet Girls Fantasia. 5.99% on that. 100 hour platinum, according to the guide as well. So that one, uh, I'm kind of tempted to middle click it just to open it up so I can have a look in a bit. Um, Bunny Raiders. <laughs> yeah, not not for me. I've, I've mentioned that story a lot, a lot before. Uh, Call of Cthulhu, nice. 21.82% on that. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you're missing one trophy. Uh, but you still got the Platinum. That one trophy, obviously, is DLC. Uh, Candle, the Pair of the Flame. Nice. Capcom Fighting Collection. Nice. 12.36% on that. Cars Free. <laughs> nice. 12.82% on that one. Then we got a couple of the Castlevanias. Castlevania Advanced Collection and Requiem. Sympathy of the Night and Rondo of Blood, I think it's called. Um, but nice on both of those. Cat Quest 1 and Cat Quest 2 next. Nice. 
Chaos of Deponia. Nice. <laughs> uh, Chess Knights, Shinobi, Chess Knights, Viking Lands. I have absolutely not a clue. Uh, I'm guessing they're about chest. Uh, Clip the Snail. Pass. 24, almost one in four people get that one. Coffin Dodgers. I've seen that one around. Uh, a short, very uh, common platinum trophy. Concrete Genie. Fair play on that one. The guide saying eight hours. I'm pretty sure when I looked at the guide for that, it was 15, but fair play that it's, uh, you've got that one. Control, one of my one of my favourite games ever. thought it was brilliant. Uh, high percentage of 24.73, but still, you got the Platinum. Corpse Party, my guy. The only other person I've seen with this Platinum trophy, other than myself. Absolutely fantastic game. 8-bit, I know. But the music's fantastic. That just, just the feel of it. It's just amazing. Cotton reboot. I've, I've actually added this to my uh, PlayStation wish list because I'm not going to pay full price for it. But if it was like you know, say five pound or something, I would get it. Um, just because I, I do like these style of games, even if this style of game, well, the Cotton uh, franchise is relatively easy. I've, I've quite recently done Cotton Fantasy, um, but fair play on that one. Uh, crazy Chicken Jump and Run Traps and Treasures. Nice. Um, sounds fantastic. Crossing Souls. Again, not a clue. Cruise Brothers. Again, not a clue. Um, all these that I haven't got an idea about, I am so sorry, but I just no not a, a Scooby-Doo. Uh, Cry Machina, yes, my guy, somebody else that's got this one as well. Not the hardest, not the longest, but I I'm proud that I got this Platinum Trophy. And fair play, you got it quite quickly as well. Uh, Crypt of the Serpent King, no idea. Cry Star, fair play, first one of these I've seen. Oh, just taking a breath because I'm, like, I'm trying to go through really quick. Come on, Alex, stick with it. So, Cyber Citizen, Shockman, no, no idea, but 91%, 89%, 94%, 90% on all of the Cyber Citizen games. So, they that just screams trash to me in the sense of, you know, quick, easy platinum, probably cheap. Um, but fair play on all four. Uh, Cyber Dimension, Neptunia, four goddesses online. Awesome game. I really, really enjoyed that one. Um, one that I've got myself turn-based as uh, again uh, darker skies fair play on that one i recently included this in my latest 10 uh 10 games to complete in under 10 hours um absolutely awful game uh dark siders genesis nice uh daymare 1998 one i've been looking at recently i know it's not the best of games but uh that one and the sequel i think it's sandcastle they look decent enough. Uh, Death End Request 1 and 2. Very nice and a well done on those both. Uh, Death Wish Enforcers, no idea. DK of Logos, no idea. Dayland, Pocket Planet, no idea. I am going to come back to DK of Logos though because that's only a 7.13%. Nice on that one. Uh, Deponia. Deponia Doomsday. I've seen these around, I've heard of them. I think I own Deponia on my PC, but God knows. Um, Destiny Connect TikTok Travelers, fair play. Destroy All Humans, Destroy All Humans 2, very nice. 13.3 uh, and 15% on both of those though. I'm quite shocked that they're that low. Uh, then we've got Devil May Cry 2, 11.99% on that. Um, for some reason, my... Uh, PSNP is not loading anymore from the bottom, so I might have to make a quick, uh, quick cut in a second. Uh, but we got four, oh, sorry, two stacks of Devious Dungeon, and then two stacks of Devious Dungeon Two, uh, all very high percentages. Dex, and then Disaster Report Four, Summer Memories, and yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, refresh. Okay, so now my internet has stopped shitting itself. Let's get back to it. So we got Disney classic games, Aladdin and the Lion King. That's nice. 
Um, same as before, I don't know why, but it gets to a certain point and the PSMP plugin just stops. But we're just going to carry on. So we got DMC, Devil May Cry, nice, 7.66% on that. Dolphin Spirit, Ocean Mission, not a clue. Don't Knock Twice, horror game, that I know. I actually own it, but don't know what the game plays like. Never seen any gameplay for it, but I do own it physically. Donut County next as well. Nice. Very common platinum, but you got to be in it to win it. Dragon Quest XI. Beautiful game. Absolutely amazing game. One that I want to go back and finish myself, but just... It's too too much. Um, Dragons, Legend of the Nine Realms. Dreadout 2, Dreamfall Catchers. Not a Scooby-Doo for those three. Duke Nukem 3D, 20th World Tour, Anniversary World Tour. 43.67% on that one. Earthlock Festival of Magic. Nice. Um, I, I'm because there's so many here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have to skip the ones that I don't know. And, and like, if I see any that are really low, I'll call them out. But I'm just gonna stick to the ones I actually know because there's that many, and I, and I don't want the video to be too long. Um, so. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce that, but I actually have this digitally. Uh, but Aiden Chronicle Rising, nice uh, 2D um, JRPG, if I remember right, or hack and slash, whatever. But fair play on that one. Quite a high percentage, but it's one I've looked at and uh, downloaded. Never actually played it, but fair play. Uh, Ender Lilies, obviously a game that was free on PS Plus. Uh, last month i believe it was um played it a little bit not really my kind of style but fair play on it um and yeah so just keep scrolling F far cry 3 classic edition bit jack too janky for me but fair play and primal so very nice um forgive me mate love it only the a platinum that i have that not many people do Again, uh, your list, you have a platinum that I own that not many people do, so fair play. Fail play, 4.45%, um, very nice. Uh, G.I. Joe, Operation Blackout, very nice, only 13.01% on that. Gal Guardians, Demon Purge, I was looking at this literally like yesterday. Game looks, looks everything that I love, but... Uh, I don't own it, but I am planning on uh, picking it up at some point. And Galgun 2, very nice. Four years, four months on that, so you, that was one you've definitely gone back to. I'm pretty sure it's a simple platinum, but it does require a couple of playthroughs, if I remember right. Um, but yeah, Galgun, love it. Uh, I've I've got um, the original double piece, uh, still in the cellophane, but number two I've played. Uh, get even, fair play, you don't see that very often. 11.17% on that one. Ginger, Beyond the Crystal. I picked this up in the store yesterday. And I almost brought it until I saw it was cheaper on uh, Amazon. And then when I went to buy it on Amazon, when I got home, it was out of stock. And they didn't know when it was going to be back in stock, so I'm gutted that I missed out on it. But fair play on that one. Uh, Glassmer. Glass Masquerade 1 and 2, very nice. I didn't realise that number 1 was so high percentage, but the second one, still high, but a lot lot lower. Uh, God of War, very nice. Um, Greek, Memories of Azure. I, didn't, I actually didn't realise that it was on PS4 as well as PS5, because I own it PS5 uh, on the shelf uh, behind me. But nice. Uh, Grey Skies, the prequel to Darker Skies that we went over earlier. Very nice. Grim Fandango as well. 20.58% on that one. Beautiful. Gris, beautiful game, but just one that I can't be bothered to go back and platinum. Um, handball 16 and 17. I'm going to take a guess that you just, you're just just uh, out and out platinum hunter through and through because... Or maybe you're a handball fan. I don't know anybody that actually enjoys these games, but fair play on sticking through them and getting the Platinums on them both. Uh, Hellblade, Senua Sacrifice, very nice. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn, beautiful. 
Hyper Dimension Neptunia U Action Unleashed. One of the very few Neptunia games I've never touched. Um, but I know that it's one that I would like to uh, add to my Vita collection in the near future. Although I don't even know if it's even possible anymore. Uh, Ice Age, Scratch Nutty Adventure, nice. Immortals Phoenix Rising, beautiful. Infamous Second Son, amazing game. Um, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Which one? Is that Infinite Combat? Or... I don't know what version that one is, but I've, I've definitely I definitely own the one. And if that's the same version that I own, I thought the game was actually really poor. Like it was like felt to me like it was an anime cash grab. But fair play on getting uh, both of those platinums. Uh, J Stars, very nice, seven point six five percent. Don't see that one very often either. Uh, Jack and Daxter, the original, very nice. Um, Jurassic Park, the classic games collection. I'm surprised that's so high because you usually find that the classic games uh, collections are, are, are pretty difficult. Uh, K's and the Wild Masks as well. Another one that I picked up the other day um, and didn't get, but I saw it and I should have got it, especially as I've since found out that physical editions of this are very rare, uh, especially in the UK. Uh, Kill the Kill, IF. Uh, personally haven't seen the anime but I know the fighting game that this is um, apparently it's quite an easy platinum so I'm shocked that it's quite it's so low of a percentage but nice Kitaria Fables a game that I've re purchased recently not for any other reason than just to add to the shelf because I don't own it uh, Klonoa nice Knack 2 don't see that one very often either so very very well done on that one um, Katadama, I'm guessing this is the seven, seven mysteries or something like that. That is the full name, but very nice. Uh, Lake, Lara Croft Go, Late Shift, nice, nice, and nice. Thank you, internet or, or you know computer, whatever one is struggling today. But thank you for loading more up. Legends of Talia. No idea what that is, but it took you 8 minutes and 5 seconds, and it's 99.25%. Which screams... Uh, yeah, just just give me a platinum. Uh, Lego Batman 3, very nice. Lego City Undercover, Marvel Superheroes, Marvel's Avengers, The Incredibles, Lord of the Rings. Very nice, all of those. Take another deep breath. I'm still only on the L's, what the hell? Uh, so, Leisure Sweet Larry, Wet Dreams Don't Die, nice. Um, Little Nightmares 2, beautiful game. Lonely Mountains Downhill, my god, 3.15%. I didn't realise that that was so, uh, such a rare platinum, to be honest, but fair play on it. You got Mad Max as well, very nice, 6%, and you ain't got to worry about that going up anymore, because the... Um, Platinum is now unobtainable. Mafia 3, very nice. 4.74% on that one. Um, Mag Maglum Lord. 11.57 on that. Fair play. Uh, Spider-Man. Medieval Remake. Fair play. Uh, Mega Tag Mention. Blanc and Neptunia vs. Zombies. What the actual hell. Excuse me. Um, I've never seen this, but I know, I know it's from the Neptunia franchise, so I need to check this one out. Uh, I, I apologise if I skip through games that are absolutely phenomenal or deserve to be called out, but there's just that many that I've just never heard of. Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom, fair play. A couple of Monster Energy, Monster Jam games. Uh, Supercross 7.62% and Steel Titans 9.17% Moons of Madness fair play on that one I uh, mentioned that one in my latest 10 games to platinum in under 10 hours Moon Scars beautiful I've seen that one I've looked into it it looks uh, fantastic Moving Out nice 
Mr. Massage. Two days, two hours, 94.525% Okay. Uh, murdered Soul Suspect, very nice. Um, Naruto, Alter Ninja, Ninja Storm. Need for Speed, very nice. Neptunia, Virtual Stars. I think this is the last Neptunia game I played and I just couldn't get into it. I um, wasn't a fan of like the change from uh, turn-based to whatever the fuck that one was. Um, new Super Lucky's Tale, nice. Near Automata, very nice. Nippon Marathon, I'm just going to call that one out because I know what that is. And it's, it's a fantastic game if you're uh, just chilling with your mates. Uh, Odin Sphere Left Leaf Razia. No idea how you'd pronounce that last little bit, but I actually own this game and it's a fantastic game. I think I need to do a couple more arcs until I get the platinum myself. Um, I haven't done it, I haven't even planned to include it yet, but I probably will at some point. One Piece Burning Blood, nice. One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 and on. Limited World Red and World Seeker, nice. World Red, 9.46%. Very nice. Uh, Oxen Free, shout out to that one. Paranormal Activity, The Lost Soul. I did not know that they did uh, a, a game. There's only 12 trophies though. Uh, see, if, if, I, if ever I see a game that's like just 11 golds, it, it says to me that it's just like a complete it and get the platinum. But didn't know it was there, so fair play. Uh, Phantom Breaker Omnia, very nice. I know it's a high percentage, but it's uh, not one that you see too often. Poison Control, the only list I've ever seen with this on. Uh, I, I own this physically, and no one I've ever spoken to knows knows of the game. Not the greatest of game, don't get me wrong. I think it's really poor and basic, but fair play. Prototype 2, nice. Surprised that that's so high, because that game was fairly difficult. Uh, Punchline, nice. Uh, I think I've said it before. I, I own it physically. I was going to do it as my 69th Platinum. Um, yeah, I, I quickly shot past 69 and didn't even realise. Um... Rage 2, very nice. Ratchet and Clank, the OG. Well, not, not the OG, but one of the originals on PS4. Red Faction, Red Faction 2, very nice. Both very low percentages, 3.65 and 4.5. 4. 5, so very nice on those. Uh, River City Girls, 0. I'm calling this one out. I didn't realise that it's such a high percentage. Um... Or that it can be done so quickly, but I've been looking at River City Girls 2. Um well, River City Girls 1 and River City Girls 2, and they are so expensive physical editions, but I want them physically. Uh Road Rage, nice um Root Film. Okay. Ruby Arafel. Now you know, don't judge me, but I actually really enjoyed the Ruby anime up until like one of the last seasons where it completely just lost the plot. The games, however, I've not played Arrow, Arrow Fell, but it looks decent. So maybe one for the future for me. Sakura Wars, very nice. Schoolgirl, Zombie Hunter, fantastic. Such a low percentage. It's a game that I have looked at so many times because one of my one of my closest friends has actually got the platinum on this, and I remember watching him play it, and I was just like, "That looks like fun." Um, Senran Kagura Burst Renewal and Estival Verses, nice and nice. Obviously, at the top we saw you was working on Peach Beach Splash, so fair play. And you, I mean, I loved that game. I've said it before. I will always say it. That game would have been. A banger if more people played it. The online could have been something else. Um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Nice shady part of me. Literally like 20 minutes before I uh, hit record. I actually downloaded it because I'm working on something that will include it. Um, Shanty and the Pirate's Curse. Nice. Shanty and the Seven Santi. Se Shanty and the Seven Sirens. Nice as well. 
and Shanti Half Genie Hero. The Ultimate Edition as well, so very nice. 8.41% on that one. Um, lovely name of a game there. I'm guessing that's CG, a fart for Melusina. Never heard of it, nor am I going to even look into it. I have no interest, but fair play on it. Um, right, I'm struggling now for games that I actually real, realise what they are. Skater XL, I'll call that one out, 9.52%. And to be fair, Skateboard Drifting with Maxwell Cat, just because it's a 7.33, so fair play on that one. Slipstream, very nice. I was actually recommended this a uh, couple of days ago by uh, one of the guys who've uh, joined my Discord. A uh, little plug there. I do have a Discord now. The link is in the description. Join, speak with other Platinum Hunters. Um, and then Spirit of the North, nice. SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, nice. Spyro 1, 2 and 3, of course. Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Uh, Stein's Gate, a little bit more anime there. Um, Super Neptunia RPG, I own this. I've played it a couple of times and I just couldn't get into it. But maybe, it's a, maybe now that I'm a Platinum Hunter and I've, you know, uh, been introduced to the world of guides. Maybe it's one I'll check out in the future. Sword and Fairy 6, Sword and Fairy 7. Very nice on both of those, especially 6 as it's 11.46%. Uh, and then Lost Song, I'm guessing 2017, so I'm guessing you played that on the Vita. Well, actually, maybe the PS3, but 11.59% on that, so very nice. Tales of the Borderlands. One of the worst uh, Telltale games, from what I've been told. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Kerabunga Collection. Very nice. Excuse me. Terminator Resistance. Beautiful. The Ascent. Absolutely. Like, you're talking to the heart now. I love that game. I I've been recommending The Ascent to so many people recently. I thought it was amazing. I really did. Um, and then we got a fair few games that I just haven't got a clue for. Diofield Chronicle. Surprised that that's quite so high because that is one that I do know of. Uh, Legends of Heroes, Trials of Cold Steel. Fair play on that one. 15.3%. I own physically one, two, and three. I could get the fourth one. I just haven't got around to getting it yet, but fair play. Um, the Messenger. Very nice. The Order 1886, one that's on my list to revisit soon. Uh, Walking Dead Telltale. I mean, why not? Who, who hasn't? Um, Trials of Mana. Beautiful. I could get this if I just you know, reinstalled it and went back. I just kind of lost interest in it. Uh, Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. Nice. I didn't even realise that that was uh, on... PS4, maybe I'm thinking of a different game, just going to quickly go back, Troll and I, no idea what the game is, but 4.67%, 4, 4 very, very nice, uh, Toy the Tasmanian Tiger, and Toy 2, I didn't even realise there was a sequel, so that shocked me, but fair play, um, and then Uncharted The Lost Legacy, very nice, under Night in Birth, very, very nice. 10.99% on the uh, uh, EXE Lite. Unravel, 14.42%. Uh, Utter, or, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, but fair play. Not very many have got that. Uh, Valkyrie Revolution, 9.46%. Nice. Uh, Valkyrie Elysium, I, I just got so bored of it. Like, started off, I thought it was amazing. But then I was just like, yeah, I can't be bothered with this anymore. Um, Then we got Warhammer Chaos Bane. 14.83%. Very nice. Kind of reminded me of, like, a, a cheaper Diablo. But was nowhere near as good. Um, Just moving my legs under my desk and trying not to pull my mic down. Um, Werewolf the Apocalypse. Nice. Considering that that game is 
so bad but easy i'm surprised that that percentage is so low but fair play west of dead as well 7.91 percent and the dlcs beautiful what wife quest uh, the only reason why i'm calling that one out is because I, I own it myself um but i haven't even attempted the platinum i think i played it for about an hour and i was like yeah this is boring uh, Wild Arms 1, Wild Arms 2, very nice. World End Syndrome. I mean, again, I'm calling this one out because I know it. Visual novel. Um, I own the physical edition of this. Um, Yamawari, Lost in the Dark, and Midnight Shadows. You love to see it. Ukulele, Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. Fair play. Oh, Ease 9, Ease 8, and. Ease memory of Calcutta. Very, very, very nice. 9.16, 16.17, and 18.64%. Zombieland, double tap, beautiful. Zorro, the Chronicles, absolutely trash. Um, and whatever that says, Burning Edge, 15.81%. And Reaper Veteran, I apologize for, for this list, uh, for this review. 416 platinums it's just a phenomenal number like it's a number that i will probably never get to but so many of these games like some of them i've like you know heard like in passing but so many of them i just i just don't know them like i haven't absolutely not a scooby-doo what they are um so if i did uh skim over something that you're really really proud of let me know in the comments and you know i'll hold my hand up if if i don't know them i i, I can't say much about them i have just noticed you have got republic 9.876 percent uh, 987 percent that's uh, another game that i brought physically recently but as always we're going to go through the milestones and i'm guessing there is going to be a fair few can't believe that I was still scrolling up then. Okay, so. I, now, I, I like this. So, you'd earned your 500th trophy eight years ago before you'd earned your first platinum. So, that suggests to me that you didn't start off as a platinum hunter. But that doesn't matter because you got 416 now. But first platinum, sleeping dogs. Actually, I don't remember seeing that on the list. I really don't. Uh, I'd, have, I'd have mentioned it. But, okay. First Platinum, Sleeping Dogs. Very nice. Tenth Platinum was Grim Fandango. Twentieth was Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. Again, another one I don't remember. Did I skip past the S's or something? Um, 30th Platinum was Mad Max. Very nice. 40th was Unravel. 50th was Lego City Undercover. 75th was <laughs> Nippon Marathon. Very nice. Uh, your 100th was Girls und Panzer. Dream Tank Match. Peace. Uh, 125th was 8 to Glory. 150th was Bullet Girls Fantasia. I'm some of these missing because I don't remember seeing half of Oh yeah, I do. I remember mentioning that one actually. Um, where was I? Hundred uh, and fiftieth. So then your hundred and se yeah, hundred and seventy fifth was thirteen Sentinels Age Swim. Two hundredth was Schoolgirl Zombie Hunter. Yeah, yeah. Two twenty five was Cotton Reboot. Two fifty was Ease Eight. 300th was Wild Arms, 350th was Maglum Lord, 400th was Shanty Half Genie Hero, and then your latest Platinum was Submersed. And I have noticed you got your own little trophy cabinet. Whatever this Burning Edge is in there. Lonely Mountains Downhill, 3.15%, so fair play on that one. And I, I don't even know how to pronounce this, but... The reason why I'm going to point it out is I did look at it earlier and you're the only person who has this Platinum Trophy and I don't understand why. Other than seeing, like, I think there was a Steam 
forum where someone was talking about like the different editions of the game. But you know what? You're the only person who's got the platinum, so fair play. Um, but yeah, so Reaper. I mean, I, I know it was a bit rushed. I know that I didn't cover every single game, but there was just that many. But very impressed with the list. Some absolutely amazing bangers in there. Um, also, a lot of games that I just don't know. But that's going to be the trophy list for today. And the list has got absolutely humongous. Like, I'm almost tempted to say no more submissions. Because even with speeding up the process the way that I have done recently, I think I'm still going to be here until after Christmas into the new year. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to stop. I, I do enjoy doing these. But yeah, maybe you know a bit of reverse psychology don't don't submit anymore but yeah so thank you everyone for watching um don't forget to check out this the links to different goodies in the uh in the description the discord link um the x link or twitter if you're old school like me probably the best place to keep up with things that are going on thank you again peace out